you know, do some parents have this kind of sense of entitlement that they can take their children everywhere, Brenda? Should they be allowed to take their children everywhere, including in a buggy? You say entitlement, I like to think of it as buggy rage sometimes, mm. some people. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Some people, they ran you with their buggy. It's like, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, I'm for, um, you know, if you've got in a restaurant or a coffee shop, I think it's a bit much when you're in there and you... And you, you because the buggy keeps um, getting pushed onto you. So I think there are certain places that you just shouldn't have a buggy in. I'm a mother, and when I was um, with my children, I had a sling because I felt like I was a bit of a nuisance sometimes. And when you're going on the, on the public transport, you can't do it all yourself, and somebody's not going to help you all the time. So I just had a sling, and then I'm good to go. And that's, you know, I think that's just an easier way of me not having see, stress. I don't, I, I don't mind, you know, Jack, Jack's 17 now, but I remember, you know, when he was in a buggy, I did meet friends, and we'd go to those, you know, this kind of monkey music and all those jolly things you go to, mm. and then we'd all go and have a coffee. Mm. I have not a problem with, with buggies and things in, in restaurants and cafes, as long as they're not blocking the aisle, as long as they're, you know, they're not somewhere dangerous. Mm. Um, so, you know, I think we parents and things want to go out and they want to take their children out and socialise. I think that's fine. But I think there have to be health and safety issues yes. involved Right, but the here. buggy of today is like the chieftain's hank <laughs> compared <laughs> to the little pushchair. I, as you all know, am six yep. foot tall. Mm. But as a baby, even though I was a tall, long and thin baby, I fitted into a nice, simple pushchair. And I remember my mother would push me right through Fulham and then sit me down the laundrette to watch the washing going round uh, for an hour. Made your own fun in those days. Yeah, you, made Janet? some fun. I actually thought it was a television for a long time. Yeah. Or someone in our But I don't think, one. Janet, then, I mean, certainly not when, when we were kids, they didn't have... They weren't coffee shops. We didn't no. all... They weren't all no. running around in coffee shops yeah. and, you know, ten women sitting with buggies. That just didn't happen. You might have gone to someone at your friend's house. My yeah. mum would go to friends' houses and they would have coffee and things. But mm. So I think now society's changed and you can't just kind of ban children from ever being out with yeah, but can they have bug buggy lanes on the pavements? Like, we've got cycling lanes. Uh, why can't we have the buggy lane alongside so they stick to their zone? Because <laughs> at the moment, in some parts of London where people can afford the really, really expensive... Actually, it's not just in London, it's all over the country. With, like, the Go Faster stripes, bells and whistles. Yeah, those, they yeah. want the big... Is that a brand? Yeah, well, they've got, like, yeah. four wheels, they've got baskets, they've got things... <laughs> and then the parents that can afford that can also afford the little mini electric scooter to drive you mad. So one, uh, one child's on the scooter and another one will be on a mini bike clogging up the whole pavement, yeah. if you're lucky. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Already, I was going to say, God forbid, people should take the children out for <laughs> Yeah, well, it's like the child catcher on the panel, isn't it? <laughs> I can issue a kind of Janet Troop movement order so you can stay out of my postcode when I'm moving <laughs> through your uh, neighbourhood. Oh, no, I, I, I agree with health and safety. Obviously, there's areas mm. where if it was dangerous, then they shouldn't be. But other than that, you know, you've got a baby, you need a buggy, you're going shopping. I mean, I tried the sling thing, but I couldn't stand it. First of all, I always thought... I suppose cos they were in the way, but... Yes. <laughs> they, you know, they'd look down and they'd be like that, and I'd think they're not comfortable, and if they went the other way, their the legs would just hang in. I always thought, they don't look comfortable. And I don't want to carry the baby and shopping. So I, I used the buggy for everything. It was like a little mini car. Couldn't you yeah. put the um, baby inside that wheelie shopper thing? I did. <laughs> I actually... Oh, the bit underneath? So, you mean. when... when <laughs> yeah, so... No, no, Be careful you, what you say here. You is it legal? Because <laughs> when, um, when Jake was born and then Shane was a toddler... Yes. ..and it was before they had the things that the toddlers yes. could stand on on the buggy, so I had a tray underneath the buggy and I used to put a little pillow in there and then when Shane was tired, he'd crawl under there and sleep and I'd have Jake and Shane. <laughs> and this woman came around and went, that's genius! <laughs> <laughs> Genius, get under. Should have patience in that. Yeah, should have. Scott agrees with Janet. Yes, there should be places where buggies are banned, like cyclists have their own cycle lanes to separate them from pedestrians. Oh, there should be yes. lanes for buggies. <laughs> only. Buggy lanes. I've started <laughs> no. trend. Cassie says, "Don't be ridiculous. Absolutely not. You can just walk around a buggy. It's really not a hassle." Mm. Um, Kimberly, I'm a mother with a toddler in a pushchair. I understand that some places just can't or shouldn't accommodate them. So she's kind of going, "I understand that. Mm. Just don't take them there." 
Colin, what are you uh, Danny agrees with Janet. She says, yes, I can't stand push chairs, especially when I'm out shopping. Don't go shopping then. But on something <laughs> like this week... <laughs> this week is the Chelsea Flower Show. And last year I went to the Hudson Court Flower Show. Going to an event like a, a big flower show or, you know, this time of year, agricultural shows, you try walking around with the buggies and crowds and crowds of people all shuffling. It's tough. You and try I wouldn't... going shopping without a buggy with a yes. kid. It's impossible. Yes, that's why. I'll keep so that what in they mind. Meant, what are they meant to do? Just leave the kid at home?